Hello again, this is Kurt at Monster Transmissions. We're back at Kurt's Corner. We're live in the shop as you can hear. Today we're working with a Turbo 350 transmission. This is a transmission that is in most GM uh, vehicles from the early 60s uh, all the way up to the early 80s. What we're going to review today in particular is the length of the output shaft on 4x4 applications. There seems to be some confusion out there on what length output shaft that you may have in your vehicle. Both shafts were available from, uh, again, from the early or late 60s to the, to the 80s. And we're gonna show you how to measure that shaft and why it's so critical to know that. All the shafts that, that a Turbo 350 had all had 27 splines, 27 teeth on the output shaft. So the spline count had never changed, but the length of the shaft did. So this is how you measure it. You take an item that has a flat plane, like let's say a ruler, and you place it against the end of the output shaft. Now you want to measure from the edge of the case to that flat surface. And as you can see, this one's only about three quarters of an inch. It does not stick very far out of the case because the early transfer cases would have a receiver hub that would slide into the transmission and grab the splines of the output shaft. Now this is the short shaft, which sticks out only three quarters of an inch, and they have a longer one which is quite a bit longer. This is the other 4x4 shaft that's used on a Turbo 350. And as you can see, it measures quite a bit further out from the case. And this one here measures about five and a half inches. Now this is a factory shaft, more commonly used in the 80s, let's say 1978 to the early 80s. Now, Again, both shafts we have found are in all year vehicles, particularly in the late 80s, they use the longer one. But we do need to know the shaft length when you're ordering a 4x4 transmission. And again, they all came 27 spline teeth on the output shaft. If the shaft length is different or has a different spline count, then it has an aftermarket kit already installed in the unit. So today that's our review of a Turbo 350 on how to measure the output shaft length. We do not want measurements from inside the casting of the unit because then the, we don't know what area you're measuring from. So the most accurate way is the surface lip of the case to the end of the output shaft. That's it for today. We're going to move on to another transmission. And if you have any questions, please call us at Monster Transmissions 1-800-708-0087. Thank you.